Hello and welcome at ZEISS headquarter. I'm Christoph Kasnar, product manager for ZEISS Cinema Lenses. And I would like to introduce to you the ZEISS extended data technology. This is the first episode of a small uh, series of uh, tutorials about uh, lens data and ZEISS extended data technology. And let's start directly into what is size extended data technology? So lens data have become uh, very important uh, in the last years and will be even more important in the future. And we have embedded lens data electronically into our lenses. For this, we use the Cook slash I technology, which is also already supported by a large amount of different equipment. Um, it provides focus distance, focal length, iris, uh, pupil position, depth of field uh, already integrated into the lens. And on top of all of those Cook slash I uh, standard data, we have added the distortion and the vignetting data in a very simple way inside the lens. You can record them and uh, pass them into the post-production later on. This uh, allow you to avoid shooting grids in the pre-production in case your uh, project has a lot of visual effects or computer graphics. Um, let's start into, to look into what lenses support or implement uh, this technology. So firstly, last year we introduced the CP3XD, like the name uh, say it, they integrate extended data technology. Uh, this year, we introduce the Supreme Primes. They also integrate uh, this technology. Now, second thing to know is what camera will read lens data. Globally and generally, all camera that record Cook slash I data will record at least a part of size extended data, uh, like the Sony Venice, the RED, the SMC2 camera, all the ARRI camera, they all communicate using the Cook slash I protocol. So they will record data like focus, um, iris, uh, pupil position, which are data that you can use for match moving, for tracking, for skip, script continuity, also, so you never uh, need to guess what lens, is, what lens was used for a shot. All this data will be recorded by those camera natively. Second uh, type of equipment that uh, use uh, extended data or Cook slash I data are all the follow focus system, electronic follow focus system, like the C-Motion uh, follow focus or the ARRI WCU4, uh, which will read the data and allow you to see the focus distance, the iris on your uh, gear. <coughs> then um, in order to record the uh, distortion and shading data. There are also other equipment that can be used. Either your camera is uh, reading uh, this data natively. This is the, ca the, the case of the new RED cameras like the RED uh, DSMC2 camera with firmware version 7.1. They will record this data uh, on the video clips and then you can extract them and pass them to the post-production or uh, if you have another type of camera, you can either use uh, this box from Ambient named Master Lockit. Originally, it's a um, time code generator, but it also records the lens data and tag them with the time code. So basically, you can always um, allocate the right data set to any frame. If you don't want to use a, a special dedicated uh, time code generator, you can also use from the same company, from Ambient, the power locket, which generates the time code, but also is a power uh, slot uh, for your camera. 
So this is an equipment that you uh, most likely will need anyway. And it also records the size extended data. Finally, uh, a very simple way to record the distortion and shading data is to use the TransVideo uh, Starlight uh, HDM monitor, which uh, not only records shading and distortion and uh, generate a uh, lens correction file for your post-production, but it can also be used as a focus puller tool. It will display the distance, focusing distance, and uh, iris on the monitor if you uh, want to. So it's a very powerful um, small display, which is ideally working with uh, size extended data lenses. So, in the next uh, episodes, we will uh, see different elements of the workflow. So, we will uh, talk about the benefit of size extended data in the pre production. So, how many time you gain, uh, what are the steps you don't need to perform if you use uh, lenses with uh, extended data. We will also see how your set life. Uh, will be uh, simplified and all the people will be able to communicate around lens data. And we will also have a, a series of episodes talking about how to record the distortion and shading data instead of shooting grids and how you pass them to the post-production and what the post-production can do uh, with this data to correct uh, distortion and shading or apply those lens characteristics on uh, computer graphics. So follow us uh, on this channel. Uh, we will go through different episodes about size extended data. Talk to you soon.